Captain Timberlake, he was at the VA and that's more when I had my stroke. But that's the he he's gonna be working with the that's the ministry he wants to target is mental health with veterans. And he was talking about suicide in, in specifically. And um what you said about your book, like we can like, you know, cause when I when I, I knew your testimony, I heard it, but when I read that book, it was just something different. The Holy Spirit was like, because 'cause I'm in the C P C program, that's like a mental health program, you know. Stay on top of things, and then you know when you deal with mental health, you make it a part of your lifestyle. Stay on top of it, try to stay balanced. And uh, it was a lot of brothers and sisters who were veterans that was in the program that I seen was going through struggling. And your book was like right on time, so I just mm-hmm. came into the group, and I was like, something put in my spirit, Bob, buy some copies of yeah. my book, you yeah, know. You did. And, um, and I gave them to the veterans, and not only that, I gave it to some of the teachers, my physical therapist, and everybody I gave that book that took that book and read that book. I mean, they was just blown away. It touched. Mm. It wasn't no regular response. Like, oh, I like that book. No, no, no. It was like, that book touched. God, that book is amazing. You know this guy? He's your friend? I was oh, like, wow. yeah. They was like, man, this book is incredible. It touched my spirit. It touched that. And that's the glory to God. testimony. Glory to God. Because that's God. how powerful that book is. And the, the veterans who read it, you know, they really attracted to it. You know, even though they didn't experience that same experience, they still felt that struggle, you know, and mm-hmm. that's that's another thing about testimony. You know, it shows that we all human. We all go through every go through things every day. Yes, sir. I don't care you rich, white, black, poor. You going through something in this life, so. Yes, sir. Yeah, I thought I wanted to add that, man. That's very powerful, and I'm so happy that I was able to even give that your gift to them. That you know what God did for you to them. Amen. You know, yeah, it's, it's going to be, a, I see great things for your book, man. It's, well, a, it's a life change. The audio book is coming out, too. Oh, yes. So the yeah, audio yeah, book is coming out, too. Oh, that's going to be off the chain? Yep, you'll be able to find that on the same website, awesome. journeybeautifulbook.com. Awesome. So you can get the, the paperback copy of the yes, book, yes. hardback copy of the book, or you can get the audio book. Yeah, A lot of people like audio yeah, books yeah, because yeah. they can listen mm-hmm. to them while they're driving, while they're driving or so. working out or something. Yeah, they can put yeah. it in their headphones yeah. and just listen, and it's mm-hmm. a blessing. Yes, it so is. I, I'm it's very awesome. grateful for the work. Shout out to Dino. Yes, Dino. Brother Dino. Miracle Hotline. <laughs> <laughs> miracle Hotline. Did you know? And Amen. Now, there is a Miracle Hotline out here, and I'm sure most of you with the body of believers have heard about the Miracle yes, Hotline. Yes. But there is a Miracle Hotline out and if you have a miracle, if you have a testimony that you want to share, Amen. then you can do that. Mm-hmm. And uh, Brother Mobley, yeah. uh, I'm sure you can put that information. Oh, up. yeah, it's def- mm-hmm. def- definitely, definitely. So that if you yeah, have definitely. a testimony that you want to share mm-hmm. so that it will be a blessing to everybody, then we encourage I'll you to do that on the Miracle yeah, Hotline. Yeah. So it's a blessing. Mm-hmm. And you can look that up, actually. Yeah. It's the miraclehotline.com. Yeah, and I'll put it in the comments of this video, mm-hmm. too. Yeah, from and there's only one out there. <laughs> the miraclehotline.com. Right. Okay. It's the only yeah. one of its kind. Yeah. Can you believe that? Well, you hear amazing stories like Mike's mm-hmm. from people all yeah, around the world. Yeah, like Brother Alex is on there, too. Yes, from all mm-hmm. around this world. It's very, I mean, I, when I first heard the Miracle Hotline, I came to tell you, I listened to the, all of the testimonies in two days. All mm-hmm. of them. It was like I couldn't stop playing them. It was just that powerful. Very powerful. Yes, I couldn't. Very wrong. powerful. Your testimony, you're yes, all. Yes. Yeah. With yes. your mom? Oh. Yes. Oh, yeah. See, that's the, that's the only, you know, speaking of my mom, that's the only other person I've seen with my own eyes die and come back for about the same time, about 20 minutes. Wow. And come back. So that's when, when you said that, you know, I was like, oh, wow, another one. You know, mm-hmm. God is doing this all mm-hmm. over. You know, it's not just one person. He does this all the time. And that shows you, too, God has no favorite person. Yeah. You know, he don't just bring back. He can bring back who, 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 whoever has that faith and belief in amen. grace and mercy. That's powerful. Yes, amen. It was a blessing also because, like I, I was telling Brother Alex, I didn't know I was dead. Amen. I had no idea. Mm-hmm. Um, and, and I outlined some of the things I've seen in the book. And uh, pretty much it was darkness. And it was pitch black. And mm. it was darker than any other darkness I've experienced. I couldn't see my hands in front of me. I couldn't see mm. my feet. I knew I was there um, yes. in this darkness because I was able to think. I, I, I couldn't see my hands, and I was like, how come I can't see my hands? So I was able to think, and I was able to cognitively think as well. Mm-hmm. In this black darkness, and I'm just going to briefly share this with you, um, there were two black walls, mm. and they were vibrating very violently. Wow. And as they were vibrating, they were closing in on me. Mm. And... I said to myself, 
because those walls were darker than the rest of the darkness. I, I don't know yeah. how to explain it, but it was all dark, and wall mm -hmm. was, walls were darker than the rest of the darkness and vibrating very violently and closing in. Like in Star Wars, remember yes. the trash oh, compactor? Oh yeah, 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 the Han Solo, <laughs> yeah. Right, and it was closing in like that, and um, I got scared. I experienced fear. So wherever I was at, I couldn't see my hands, my body, or no body parts in front of me. Mm -hmm. I couldn't see nothing but darkness. I was able to cognitively think because I asked myself a question. I said, what's gonna happen when these walls close? Mm -hmm. I didn't have that answer, so I experienced fear. Mm -hmm. So wherever I'm at, I was able to experience fear, mm. which is an emotion. Yeah, I was yeah. able to cognitively think, ask questions, <laughs> and, and I was able to see, but I just couldn't see nothing in the darkness. So I knew I was somewhere. Yeah. I just they had no idea where. Well, immediately when the walls were closing and I asked myself that question, I didn't have the answer to, immediately in like, in the distance, it, was, it looked like a star far out, like just a pinhead mm. light, way out. And it was in the middle of these walls. Wow. So as the walls closed, the light got bigger and bigger and bigger mm. and bigger. So when the walls vibrated close, the light was everywhere, but it was wow. still vibrating and shaking. And I yeah. could tell that the vibrations were slowing down. Mm -hmm. So it was trying to focus and I wanted to see what, what, what it was. Oh, was it, yeah. I could feel myself kind of leaning forward like, Mm -hmm. But I couldn't see my body or nothing like yeah. that, but I could feel myself like, wow. what is this, you know? And where am I? Well, when, <laughs> when everything stopped shaking, mm. and I'll tell people, it was like, um, mm -hmm. like looking underwater. Like you ever go swimming and you open your eyes? Yes, yes. You could see around you, but you can't focus on it, but you could see no, like, yes. you know, objects and things of that nature because of the light. It was like that, but vibrating. And I could tell it was getting slower. So it was trying to focus. Mm. When it stopped vibrating, that's when I had my next conscious thought. And it was my boss. My boss was on top of me. Mm. And he was rubbing my head saying, kid, stay with us, kid, stay with us, kid. Oh, come oh, on, kid. Oh. Can you feel these my hands? You squeeze my hands, you mm. squeeze your toes. And I thought it was going to be something uh, uh, super mm. astronomical yeah, or, yeah, you know, an yeah. angel, uh -huh. my grandmother, a, a dead relative it, or anything. Uh, you know, it was my boss on top of me. He was like, right there. And I was like, whoa, yeah, but yeah. back up a little Take bit, my man. Mm -hmm. And he was like, he, he, he backed up a little bit. And I said, help me up, man. It's kind of hard for me to breathe. Yes, yes. I didn't know my sternum was Yes, crack. crack. Oh, wow. I didn't know I had four broken ribs. I didn't Ooh. know I had kidney damage and liver damage. I didn't know my pelvis was yeah. in 16 pieces. It's amazing your lungs didn't get punctured. That's what it's my doctor said. It's amazing your lungs didn't get punctured. Well, um, mm -hmm. there was a ton of internal bleeding because mm -hmm. when the panel hit me, yes, um, they said the panel hit me so violently mm -hmm. that it, when it crushed my pelvis, it sent like bone shrapnel oh, in the various parts okay, of my yes, intestine because. Yes. My doctor described it like if I had a pretzel in my hand and uh -huh. smashed it. That's how many Smash pieces it. my pelvis is in. And all those little fragments, because it hit so violently, yes. it shot into mm -hmm. various parts yes. of my intestines. With enough force to pierce. Yes. yes, and that's one of the reasons why they couldn't stop the bleeding, because mm -hmm. it was bleeding from so many different places. Because oh, it was okay. like it was like sticking me with a, a knife. Yes. Yeah. A lot of the Some places in my intestines. In bone, yes. And it was it was just crazy. Wow. So my boss, he was like, I'm not helping you up. That panel fell on you. Mm -hmm. And I looked over and I could see the panel in the mm -hmm. air with four by fours yes. under it. And I was like, oh man, I was like, man, just help me up, help me up. Mm -hmm. And he told me, I said this, which mm -hmm. doesn't really sound like me, but <laughs> he said, I told him this, man, you gotta let me up. We got work to do. I gotta get up. Mm -hmm. That sounds like you. <laughs> that sounds like you. <laughs> That sounds like the construction worker would say. Let me up. We got work to do. I got to get back to work. Yeah. So uh, I, I won't remember saying that, but he said uh, I said it. <laughs> but um, we can laugh about it now. But yes, yes. The trauma yes. of that moment, you know, because mm. this was my friend. My foreman was a good friend yes. of mine. We had been job to job to job. Oh, with each other. Well, one thing, ladies and gentlemen, let me not leave this out. This man is back working on bridges again. <laughs> I forgot to add that this man has been working back in that field. Amen. You know, I mean, just think about that. How many people, I mean, everybody who read the book in the VA, they said he got some serious courage. I wouldn't have went back. Everybody who read the book said that. I wouldn't have went back. 
I want to live back to construction, maybe mopping the floor, or riding the buses up, but not no construction. Amen. Well, I, I could officially uh, announce here on the body of believers that I am retiring. I amen, <laughs> amen, amen. My body, I've been back for seven years. Um, yes. And right. my I body mean, is... This to Torn. that, just to say you worked again in that same job for seven years is amazing. It's a miracle to me in itself. Amen. Well, seven is the number of completion. Yes, it is. In the Bible. Amen. So somebody pointed it out to mm -hmm. me, and I was yes. like, Makes sense. It, is to, it is the right Makes time. Sense. Yes. But my body Amen. is going through so many different things. I'm mm -hmm. not normal. I have yes. fatigue. Yes. It's hard for me to sit down for too long. Mm -hmm. um, it's hard for me to stand up for too long. And it was just time. Yeah. You the, know, weather, the, it's here, the weather is brought And construction is seasonal. So usually yes, I don't I don't I try not to work through the winter at yes, all. Yes. You know, I've done it, but yes. I do not like it it's at all. Rough, yeah. mm -hmm. I, I bought a heated hoodie. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. So I'm out yeah, there with an yeah, electric yeah. heated hoodie. Yeah. And they're like, man, well, I got pins and plates in me. Yeah, Getting cold yeah. really, really does something to me. If I get cold from the inside out, mm -hmm. that's a bigger problem. I, yeah. you can't just hug me. And warm me back up. I got mm -hmm. to go. I yeah. got to sit in some hot water or something. But uh, mm. God is, is so good. And I yes, believe one of the reasons why he allowed me to go back to work is to show, like yes, I said in the yes. book, anybody who knew me from before that God is real. Yes, he and he is. wanted me to show that to construction workers. And I believe that's Amen. part of the reason why I went back to work. I believe so. Because yes. construction workers can be very hard individuals. Yes, they are. You yes. know, just because mm -hmm. of the job. Yes, yes. You know, they get callous by yes. the day-to-day -day struggle. You know, they get callous yes. by yes, just the roughness of the work. To the point where they don't care about anything outside of that. Mm -hmm. That's yes. why the divorce rate for construction workers is very, very, very high. high. Yes, yes, it is. They're always angry. Look what they do for 10 to 12 hours a day. Yes, you be angry too. <laughs> be angry right. Too. So, you know, sometimes guys go home and they mm -hmm. kick the dog. And, you know, yes. I never was one yes. of those construction workers. I was so blessed mm -hmm. to even have the job because I had made some mistakes in my life and I was Amen. incarcerated. That's right. And I was mm -hmm. able to get the job when I got out of being incarcerated. Mm -hmm. And that was a blessing. For me, Glory it was like hitting the lottery. Yes. Because now I can God. earn a living. Without having to look over my shoulder, yes. without having to worry about the police coming to get me, yes. having to pay the plug back, Boom, none of those things were were, mm -hmm. were a factor anymore. Amen. I was able to make a good, honest good living, living with yes. construction. That's that's what I did. That's mm -hmm. how I raised my children. And things Amen. Like Amen. So Amen. It, it's such a blessing, but God wanted me to show them that. And people mm -hmm. would often come up to me on a job who were in an apprenticeship program, and at the apprenticeship school, yes. they showed the video. Wow. They have a video on me called The Life and Death Story of Micah Hobbs. Yes. But you can see that on that website as well, yes, journeybeautifulbook.com. Yes. Yes. You can see all the videos, the TV oh, shows. Oh, yeah, the video is awesome. All that is on It's incredible when you see the actual thing falling and everything. Oh, my goodness. It, it, it's, su it's such a blessing, man, because mm -hmm. God touched a lot of construction workers. Oh, yes, right through that. People miracle, would come yeah. and, and say, you know, introduce themselves to me, and I say, hey, Micah Hobbs, nice to meet you. Mm -hmm. And they'll be like, Micah? Michael Hobbs? <laughs> you had an accident? Yeah, like, yeah. yeah. See that guy? Like, oh, oh, my God. I see your story at the apprenticeship yes, program. Yes. They always talk about you. You're like a legend. I'm like, yes. glory, to God. glory to God. I'm only here because God brought me back. Amen. Amen. I, I couldn't pray for myself, folks. Mm -hmm. Amen. When I was gone, I didn't, like I said, I didn't even know I was dead. I couldn't pray for myself. Mm. I couldn't speak in tongues. I couldn't lay hands on myself. Mm. There was no, I couldn't believe. I couldn't fast. I couldn't do nothing. Mm, I didn't mm -hmm. even know I was dead. I already was a believer at that time. Yes. yes. So if I would have continued on, mm -hmm. I know I would have went into the kingdom. Yes. Amen. However, God amen. had a different plan for me. Yes. And I'm yes. so grateful for that because my wife's not a widow. Mm -hmm. My nieces amen. and my nephews amen. still have their uncle Micah. Yeah. My yes. mother still has her son. Amen. You know, and it's just an all around blessing. So thank you for listening, guys. Yes, I appreciate you. your time. I, I didn't mean to get so long winded. No, it's good. Told you it's I got good, the gift to preach. So good. sometimes good. you gotta, you know, play the music. Let, let the preacher know it's time to go. <laughs> Before we end, Michael, you wanna give um some plugs for um what's good Pittsburgh and you know yes. heavy bound ministries and everything you do? Yep. Uh again, if you wanna learn more about me if you want to learn more about the ministry opportunities I'm involved with and the unique ones, mm -hmm. just go to journeybeautifulbook.com. Yes. You can watch What's Good Pittsburgh episodes on there. You can see all the media TV stuff that they did on me. There's a lot of different media covers that they did on me. 
Mm-hmm. You can see the book trailer. And uh, there's just a lot of information on there about mm-hmm. me. And it's a very well put together uh, website. Yes, it is. We do yeah. have a, a, a nonprofit organization called Heaven Bound. Mm-hmm. Heaven Bound Community Outreach Ministries Incorporated. Yes, yes, you can learn about that mm-hmm. on the website. And basically what we do is we help brothers coming out, mm-hmm. brothers and sisters coming out of jails, halfway houses, penitentiaries, you know, counties you know, halfway houses. Mm-hmm. We help them with job skills in the field of construction. Yes, amen, amen. So we take uh, distressed neighborhoods mm-hmm. and we beautify them using the brothers and sisters coming awesome, out. Awesome, and we're awesome, grassroots awesome. ministry. We're just getting started. Mm-hmm. And God, Brother brother Alex is on my board of directors. Yes, yes, Lord. And we're just getting it's started. Honor. And it, it, it's going down. Yes. So just keep a lookout for us. Yes. If you want to support and help us, you can also reach out to me that's on that right. website. Awesome. It'll be a pleasure to talk to you. Let me ask you a question, my guess. Somebody wants to come to their church, speak, or do speak at a college, or their kids, mm-hmm. or you do speaking engagements and all that yes. too, right? Yes, I am a motivational speaker yeah. as well. Um, I don't just preach. I know how to be a motivational speaker without being preachy. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> <Glory to God. laughs> Amen. But I do do motivational speaking Amen. as well. Yeah. So if you wanted, like I said, to get in contact with me, mm-hmm. journeybeautifulbook.com. There's a place where you can... Uh, Send it right to my email, yes, you know. Lord. And um, if you want my email address, you can you have it here. It's heavenbound, c o m i n c at gmail dot com. That's heavenbound, c o m i n c at gmail dot com. And I look forward to chatting with you. All right. If All you right. want me to come out to your church, your Bible study mm-hmm. group, or whatever the case may be, we'll discuss it. God is good, and we want him to be glorified. Mm. That is the most important thing, is to be glorified. Yes, Lord. Glorify God. God. And the most beautiful thing on the planet Earth is the body of believers. Yes, yes. So God Love bless you, body of believers yes. in the fat. Thank you yes, for this thank time. You. No, no problem. It's a pleasure working with you. Thank My you so brother. much, Micah. It's been an honor. All right, ladies and gentlemen, this is Alex Mobley from the Body of Believers YouTube channel. If you like what you see today, like, subscribe. Follow, tell your family, your friends, and make sure you visit all Micah books, his page, his ministry, because we in this together, my brothers and sisters, yes, helping one another, working in love and unity. Thank mm-hmm. you. God bless and peace out. God bless. Oh.